So I have four pieces of walnut. They're an inch and a half square. Came from a long strip I had. I'm going to stack them up and uh, make an inside out turning. Alright, the next step is to get tape on the ends. And I don't have any glue in there, they're just taped. Both blocks. I'll get them lined up and I'm going to wrap tape around the ends of them. And we'll get it in the lathe. Okay, I'm about ready, but I'm going to turn another heater on so I can get some heat on my back. Alright, I think, I think I'm going to go with this shape here. Not quite a full radius, but uh, I don't think I want to take any more off of that. I'm going to go ahead and clean this up with my negative rake scraper and it's about ready to sand. Okay, the corners look good, so let's sand it up. With 150 grit, it's pretty smooth, and I'll get some finish on it as well. This is going in reverse. I'm going to go ahead and finish the inside with sanding sealer. You want to be careful not to get any sealer on that, that's the glue joint. I decided to do a friction polish on the inside here, so I thought I'd let you see how it's turning out. Okay, I'm going to take this out, take it apart, glue it together, and we'll come back and turn the outside. Alright, I took all the tape off of this, but before I rearrange it, I want to show you what really helps to do is to mark it one, two, three, and four with the arrows pointing outwards. And now I'll rearrange it the way it's going to be. So now they're rearranged with the arrows pointing to the middle. And I have one, two, three, and four. And now the outside looks like this. I'm going to take them in pairs glue them together, let the glue set, and then I'll glue the two pairs together. Alright, all set to glue them. I have a piece of plexiglass sitting here. I've got a heater behind me is why I'm doing it here. It's already a little bit warm in this area. So, let's get some glue on them. Let them sit for a half an hour or so. And I'll come back and glue the two halves together. The 
Okay, here's the two halves. And glued together like that, and it's ready to re mount in the lathe and finish. Okay, the glue's been sitting quite a while. I think it's fine. It's back in the chuck, tail stock against it. Let's just start roughing it out, get a wall around it, and taper this end off. Once I get this cut, I'll have to figure out a way to hold it on the end, probably put a little cup center on there. I'll just start rounding it a little bit. I have quite a bit more to take off up here. I'll cut this away. And I have a cup center that'll go right on that. Got it. All right, just a little more shaping right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and either cut this off or create a little shape on it but I'm happy with what I have here so it's time to finish out down to the bottom I'm going to do a little shear scraping here.
This is a piece of pine that I threaded onto my live center and I put a cotter key through the hole here to keep it from spinning and put it in the headstock and then I cupped it out and I have a piece of paper towel padding it here. This is to give this some support as I cut this down thin. So let's go ahead and start cutting it down. I tried to zip tie before the cotter pin and the zip tie broke. The noise you're hearing is a small piece that got lodged in there. I eventually got it out. All right, I've cleared this out of my way here. I just have a little square section there. I'll just blend this in and start rounding it over but not right at the moment because I want to get a finish on here. But first I need to clean that up a little bit. Alright, time for some sandy sealer. And you can see this is pretty wobbly there. I'm going to power the lathe on and let the sanding sealer dry a little quicker. And if you've ever, never turned anything like this with all these openings in it, this is pretty interesting to see. You can just see right through it. Just like it's not even there. That's what you're looking at when you're turning as well. You see right through it. Okay, be back a little bit later. Because of these windows in here, when I cut this off, I don't really want to try to hold it like this. So what I've done is I've put some different padding in here and I have a rubber band going through each window. I'm going to cut this down. I may not cut it all the way off, but the idea is this is going to hold the turning against this cup center and not just fall off. But I may not even cut it the whole way. Okay, it appears to be all the way loose, and if not, it's just a fine thread, so I'm going to just give it a little twist, and I'm going to say that it's loose, and I got a nice little shape there, and I hope I can find something to fit the end of it. Here's the finished inside out turning that I just made using four strips of walnut. It finished 6 inches tall and 3 inches in diameter at the widest point. The little windows are 2 and a quarter inches tall by 1 and 11 sixteenths. Here's the bottom. I narrowed the top down to a little under a quarter of an inch and I put a little eyelet in there so you could hang it. I have an idea 
and I'll show you in the coming photographs what I plan on doing with it at least some of the time. These are really a lot of fun to make and I hope you enjoyed watching the process. I'd like to thank everyone for watching. If you liked the video please give it a thumbs up and a special thanks to all my subscribers. I truly appreciate each and every one of you. If you're new to my channel and you feel so inclined, please consider subscribing. Thanks again, and until the next time, I'll see you later.